I'm going to talk about my life in uh, archaeology, art, and comics, I'm, uh, and book projects. I'm going to start in Cyprus, where this painting is from, where I had a Fulbright in 1999 to do a book of a series of paintings of archaeological sites. So this and this are of the site of Paphos, the birthplace of the goddess Aphrodite. I had an idea to put figures that were found in the sites back in the landscape where they were from. This next one is a sanctuary of Apollo where a lot of votive horse figurines were found. They um, got kind of crazy in this one. But um, I had a great time in Cyprus. It was really fun and I didn't want to leave. And I figured out that if I could work as an illustrator on the archaeological projects that were happening in Cyprus and, and all around that area that I could stay. So my first project began a year before during my MFA program where I went on a dig in Israel. So I spent this first day carrying around buckets of dust and it was a bazillion degrees. And I was thinking maybe this isn't for me actually. Um, when my professor very cheerfully at the end of the day said, How'd you like your first day of digging? Isn't there anything I can draw? Luckily, there was. So I went to work um, drawing an ancient dove coat inside of a nice, cool cave. And um, that was my first uh, experience doing a measured drawing of an artifact. Uh, from there, I went on to work in Cyprus at a copper smelting site from the Bronze Age. Cyprus was known in antiquity for us as a source of copper and copper technology. Uh, but that was very confusing in the field. So then I went and worked in their nice dig house, an old house in a village with a nice view of uh, grapes out the window. Drawing these um, two years, a French word for tubes that connect the smelting furnace with uh, bellows. So when any time I say I'm an archaeological illustrator, people always say, don't you just take photos of these things? Um, yes. <laughs> um, uh, of course, there's a dig photographer at every um, project, but every artifact is also drawn because measured drawings are um, the way that archaeologists can uh, compare objects between different sites and between contexts within the site itself. So this, in this case, it could say a lot about the technology in their ancient copper smelting. I don't know. I just draw it. But um, where this is really important is with the pottery, which is by far the most common artifact that's found on many on archaeological sites. So here's an inked version of a vase picture that I drew from the site of Comos in Crete. So how you read this drawing is... On the, this side, the left, is the exterior view with the pattern and then a cut through on the other side where you can see the sherds that I've put together to reconstruct this vessel. So on this case, a little cup also from Comos, the sherd, the um, profile, the thickness and angle of that puts it very firmly in a very detailed pottery sequence in, say, the late Minoan 3AC1. Um, while I was working in archaeology, a lot of jokes came to mind, and I was drawing cartoons. So this one's about a snobby <laughs> Cypriot bride who prefers the Mycenaean pottery to the native Cypriot. Now, if you think this is obscure, uh, I did a ton of these, and I published them in this book, um, Cartoons of Cyprus, in Nicosia. You have to explain every joke. Um, it was, I, and this time I met my husband, Professor John Franklin, who teaches classics here, and before we know it, we were having babies, and so um, I turned my um, efforts to this book. It's a mix of the obsession with Minoan archaeology with the fact that I had to spend every minute with this crying baby. Um, and I, this is about 16 pages of paintings. Um, my next project 
took place in mainland Greece, I began to be interested in those mythological figures and as children. Um, so this is Leda, as in Leda of the Swan fame, holding the egg that Helen of Troy was later hatched out of. Um, at the same time, I had an own toddler kid named Helen. Um, <laughs> I began to be very interested in um, longer form of comics. So this is the cover of my first experiment with a graphic novel form. It's 30-something pages. Um, the complete text of this myth, ancient myth, from um, Homeric Times by a Harvard professor who's asked me to use this for his massive online course through Harvard. So all the while, I was still going on excavations every year or so for a week at a time, but I was also working on all the illustrations for John's forthcoming book from, that will be published at Oxford University Press on the mythological figure from Cyprus named Canyris. Um, so this is a short comic that I did. It's about 16 pages. It's a complete collaboration with John and the ancient texts that was published on an online history magazine. So his research took us recently to spend a half a year in, the, um, in Israel, in Jerusalem, where I bought a lot of lingerie in the old city of Jerusalem and uh, kept a very detailed diary of what I was, of uh, our time there and just printed that as a book as well. And all they're, they're all on my website. Uh, meanwhile, I keep painting. My latest project is a, a Boccaccio story for an artist book exhibition in Manchester in England that tells the story of a woman who is shipwrecked on a Mediterranean island, and she spends the story trying to get back uh, to Alexandria in Egypt via Italy and Greece and Cyprus, all of the places that I have spent time in and worked as an illustrator a thousand years later. And that's all. <laughs>